I took a normal uh, video camera uh, shot that we took with this kid, and uh, we put this into one of our programs that we created over in the uh, digital theater. And just kind of want you to watch and see the shakiness of that camera. Okay. Uh, we have something called tracker controls in here that come standard with CS3, and it, uh, it allows you to actually stabilize the motion a little bit. So I went in and created another example for you. And uh, this is what it looks like with the stabilization on. And I'll zoom in here. I'm going to zoom out a little bit just to kind of give you a better example of what happens. But ideally what we're doing is we're using these tracker controls right here. And when you're doing that, you're focusing in on one certain area that moves around a lot. Let me go ahead and play this real quick. You can see this little dot right here. And this is kind of what I focused on. And you can kind of see how the wall bounces a little bit here. And this one, I went ahead and I set my tracker controls to a line through this dot right here. And it's all real simple. I don't know why this mouse is acting up. Must be. <laughs> OK, let's do this again. The uh, motion tracker allows you to focus in on one certain area. For example, if I wanted to go over here and I wanted to uh, create a new motion track, uh, it was going to basically give me a box here. And uh, when I run it from this part, it's concentrating on just that one. So you can see a little how your camera is more or less moving and it's stabilizing the, the picture as a whole. So everything else around it is moving, but concentrating briefly on this area right here. And the great thing about that is that we can take just a regular video camera like this that is off of our tripod, and we can do that. And then if we wanted to, we could go in here and take this little mask and just surround the certain area that we wanted to. And when we actually export that out, that actually stays stable. So it's a good way so you can capture a frame, making it look like it's actually on a tripod and doesn't zoom around so much and make your head kind of bounce with that.